Okay, YouTube, I'm back today with my granny continuing our conversations. Um, let's talk about your papa. What do you remember most about him? Well, I remember <coughs> my daddy was a tall, straight, good-looking man. Mm-hmm. To me, he was good. Right. He worked for the um, North Carolina Mutual Life Insurance Company. He was an agent at that time. Okay. Uh, we were we were living on Ashby Street, and of course, Ashby Street was known as uh, the real street on that side of town. On this on that side of town. For the colored people. Yeah, all of us were Negroes. And, uh, on that street was uh, a banker, Mr. Ferguson. On the, one, on the other corner was uh, Abbey Brothers. Abbey. Abbey Brothers. Uh huh. Not not the brothers, but the oh, okay. Abbey Brothers. The the Abbey family lived on that okay, street. Okay, the Abbey family. All right. And on the other corner, on this other side, was the Tuma family. That they had. Uh, a boy and two girls. Uh, we all played outside uh, because at that time people were not wa walking the street. To me, I, I, in fact, I didn't know where they were walking. We didn't know where they were walking the street or not because we were children, so we were playing. We were having a good time. Right. We went to, uh, uh, some of us went to Ashford Street School, some of us went to at that time, went to Booker T. Washington. That was the beginning of Booker T. Washington in 19, uh, I said 1927. So Booker T. Washington, Atlanta, was the first high school for blacks. For blacks. Okay. Uh -huh. um, let me, I'm going back to you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm trying to stay on target. But I know it's a lot to talk about. What do you remember most about doing with your father? What kind of activities well, did y'all well, do? Well, we and what kind of father was he? He was very kind. He was very good. He was good to us. Mm -hmm. uh, How many of you was it? There was uh, ten of us in the family. But How many boys? It was three, three boys and seven girls. Okay. Okay, but the smaller, not the smaller, well, the three of us, I say, were girls, mm -hmm. and the bo one was a boy, mm -hmm. Henry. He was. Uh, we were smaller than the others, you know. Mm -hmm. We were. We were not as old as the others. Oh, okay, I got Saturday, you. On Sunday morning, this was what we remembered most on Saturday morning. Not Saturday, but Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. We would go to Sunday school with mm -hmm. him. Right. We didn't. We walked from where we lived on Ashby Street to Mitchell Street to Friendship Baptist Church. Okay. For Sunday school. And of course, on Sundays we stayed at church. Mm -hmm. Was your dad a, a deacon or anything My at the church? My dad was a deacon in Friendship Baptist Church. Okay. And uh, that's where we went because that was. But it, it was a joy to go because we would walk and play on the way there and walk and play back. Right. Sometimes we'd stop by the ice cream parlor and get an ice cream cone apiece. Mm -hmm. And of course that that was like a million dollars to us. Right. But we just enjoyed that. Then we'd go back, come back home to dinner with, with our mother and the others have, have dinner. Yeah. What do you think the most important lesson is you learned from your father? Well, you know what? Our daddy was never really around us a, a lot because he traveled. Oh, okay. In selling insurance, he went from one city to another city. Okay. So he didn't have much time with us other than on a Sunday. So he would come home on the weekend? Yeah, come on. He would be there on the weekend. Okay. You know? So that that's, we were mo under control. More, we had my mother had more control over us than he. Okay, I, I got say, you. Because we were with her more than we were with him. Right. Uh huh. 
but he was a good provider. Provider. Is there any memory that sticks out in your mind the most? Yeah. He would let us, when he would come back, <laughs> come home from uh, selling insurance and uh, come in with his money he had collected, he would let us count the money. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we thought we were smart. <laughs> we were kind to money, but we would take some. <laughs> But he knew it was so, missing. But, but he knew he was missing, so he knew <laughs> nobody got it but us, so we had to return it. Right. <laughs> that was a good part. That was the funny part about it. Uh, we say funny, but it was a serious. Right. It was serious. Had we kept it up, we would probably would have been in trouble. So. Did you, did, did, was he a strict disciplinarian? Well, I don't, I, uh, he was not... I, I think our mother had more control. More control, because she, yeah, because he traveled. Uh, and because of his travel. What was he known for in the neighborhood? Mr. Greenwood, the insurance man. The insurance man. Uh, uh, Did a lot of black men sell insurance? Not at that time. Mm -hmm. There were not many black companies uh, in Atlanta at that time. Okay. No, it wasn't many. I think so. So he was one of the first black salesmen. I guess insurance salesmen. Well, no, I wouldn't say he was the first one. Okay. But it wasn't that many black it wasn't men that, that did. Many. Okay. Uh -huh. So was he was getting a job back then with the insurance company something rare? Um, you know. Well, yeah, in in, in that that was a. Uh, a professional job. Okay. You know, that just wasn't any kind of job. That right. was professional. What did most black men do back then? Hotel. There were a few po uh, uh, male men. Mm hmm Insurance men. Was well, some doctors, mm -hmm. and I guess one or two lawyers, teachers. Mm -hmm. Were black men a strong presence in the neighborhoods back then? Were they what? Or did they have a strong presence in the neighborhoods back then? Well, yeah, everybody knew everybody. Right. So black men, I mean, they were they were around the neighborhood. They right. were with their families. Right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Most of your friends growing up back then, both of their, uh, most of them came from two parent households. Yeah. Mother and father well, in the house. Mother and father. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Okay. Anything you want to add? There, there were uh, one or two grocery stores by blacks. Mm -hmm. One was at Parson Street and the other one. And that's where all the black people shopped together. Cause you, were you allowed to go to other grocery stores? Well, yeah, you went to other grocery stores because there were white grocery stores in the neighborhood. Down on the corner from us was a grocery store. Could you shop there? That's where we shop. Okay. Uh-huh. Did people gravitate more towards the black grocery stores as opposed to the white ones? Or they just... But, but they just went. You right. Know. If they, you were that in, you probably went there. Right. If you were on that end, you picked up what you wanted to get right. at, this, at this end. You right. know. Okay. There were, at that time there was a, a shoe shop, mm -hmm. park shoe store, park shoe shop where you got your shoes fixed. If your old shoes wore out, you had the soles fixed. Right. There was a little chicken house uh, right up from the, uh, what did I just say? The shoe shop? The shoe shop mm -hmm. was a little chicken shop. Chicken have. Mm -hmm. You could buy your chicken and they would clean it for you. And cut you off the head and all cut that. Cut the heads mm -hmm. off and you could go home and fix your 
down off whatever you can clean it up. Mm. Uh, <laughs> the barber shop across the street. All right. These are black owned places. These are black owned places. Okay. And on the corner on on the corner was a drugstore. Amos drugstore. Okay. They sold the best hot dogs you ever wanna eat. Oh okay. Did they have did they serve chili with them? Huh? Did they serve chili with the hot dog? The chili, they, you, yeah, you didn't have all these beans on hot dogs <laughs> like you have now. You had chili on your hot dog. Okay. <laughs> Further down was another one, way down on right. Ashby Street. Okay. It was, really, it was uh, enjoyable for us because we were children at that time growing up. Mm -hmm. you know. And the neighborhood took care of the children. I mean, yeah. everybody looked out for everybody each other. Everybody looked out for everybody. You, if Miss So and So saw you doing something, you knew if she saw you, you knew you were going. Your mama was going to do it because she was going to tell it. Right. Okay. And you didn't do it anymore. Exactly. You, your children don't do what the uh, parents uh, tell them to do now. Uh, they don't. They don't. Uh, listen. Listen. But we listened, mm -hmm. and we knew we bet we would did not to do that anymore. If you do that anymore, shame, shame. Right. So it, 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 my my uh, younger days were pleasant days as far as I'm concerned. Right. For, for my parents to have as many children. Right. You know. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's our conversation for the day. We'll talk again soon. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. <laughs>